For patients that have experienced stroke, spinal cord, and progressive neuromuscular disorders, traditional physical therapy is aimed at improving things like strength and flexibility. The HAL technology from Cyberdyne is really aimed at improving the neuromuscular connection between the brain and the body. By helping increase that connection, they're able to really improve a patient's ability to activate parts of their body that were previously damaged by an injury. Combining that with high-level care from RISE Healthcare Group, we're able to achieve optimal outcomes for our patients. Exoskeletons are devices that are used to improve overall functional outcomes or important tasks in daily life, and they provide support to the individual using them while using the device. Other exoskeletons essentially work by weight shifting and pressing of buttons, whereas the HAL device uses those intentional movements that come from the brain directly to the body. As soon as you decide to move, your brain sends a signal from the brain down to the moving body parts that it's intending on moving. This signal is a very light signal that travels from the brain over the surface of the skin. When you put on the HAL device, that device is picking up that intentional circuit, that intentional signal from the brain, and uses that signal from the brain to actually promote movement within the HAL device. With traditional physical therapy or even other exoskeletons, you require the muscle in the body to activate the movements. This improvement, while beneficial to the body, also causes small micro damages to the muscles as you start to build and regain strength. The HAL is unique because it really activates these movements from the brain and the nerve connection. And starting this movement from the neuromuscular connection actually causes significantly less damage to the body as it's starting to regrow these neural patterns and these muscular fibers. The main difference that HAL provides is it works with the brain and the body in developing neuroplasticity. This process of neuroplasticity allows for carryover. Because of the carryover effect, you become less reliant on other devices such as canes, walkers, or wheelchairs. The HAL device increases the overall potential to achieve functional goals, such as walking, sit-to-stand activities, and transfer. There are a number of other exoskeletons in the U.S. market. However, the HAL device is the only one that has been approved by the FDA to actually improve ambulation. Generally speaking, when we're talking about outcomes using the technology, we see a lot of people getting improved walking speed, walking mechanics, a lot more motor control that has been derived from that feedback, and overall just better qualities of life. RISE, using the technology of the HAL, works with many different types of neurological disorders, including spinal cord injuries, progressive neuromuscular disorders, and um, stroke. With patients that have suffered from a stroke, the body has an inability to reactivate or turn on a neuromuscular pattern that they previously had. However, with the HAL, we're really able to focus in on the neuromuscular connection and help improve their body's ability to activate the nerves that control these muscles. As such, patients that have experienced a stroke that complete a course of therapy with HAL actually have improvements in their care by 150% in terms of their walking distances and speed compared to traditional physical therapy. Right now, the HAL is only available in a physical therapy rehabilitation environment due to the high complexity of the technology and the high level of training it takes to implement. Soon in the future, we'll have individual HAL units for the lumbar or single joint that patients may be able to rent to take at home at a fraction of the cost of other exoskeletons. In the healthcare system, how progressive neuromuscular disorders are treated is really aimed at maintaining function or limiting loss. The HAL is actually the only thing that helps improve a patient's function and maintain that gain through a longer period of time. I think a practice that embraces the HAL technology is a practice that really holds themselves to a high standard. Instead of just trying to help a patient or assist a patient, if you really want to improve a patient's function, then the HAL is the only technology and the only exoskeleton that's able to support that decision and that value that you hold for yourself and for the patient.